Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, uh, we went into the Charwood. It's haunted, of course. And there's this whole village over here of people that were forgetting what was happening. So, uh, before I go into this more than likely deadly tower, castle, whatever, I need healing. Thank you. Last thing I want to do is manage to beat down the evil and whatnot and then suddenly just get completely lambasted because, oh, hey, guess what? You failed your fortitude saving throw. That'd be no bueno. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. Don't need those. Not need the topazes, do not need the copper ring. Or that copper ring. I've got a two handed beating stick. So that's good. Um this would be my two handed beating stick. If I knew more about what was chaotic. Oh, I might keep those for a little while. Just to see. Oh yes, more arrows of the vampire. Rod of Terror. And I can't use this? It's required simple druid, monk, rogue, or wizard. But. But. I, I got simple weapon proficiency. Oh well. Not a big loss. Not exactly like I'm planning on keeping it around. Neva, slot tongues, still the gargoyles. Oof. Pink. I think I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this cloak. And these like other two miscellaneous uh things. Toss that ring in here. Yeah, when I get when I get this ring of the rogue upgraded, some I might have that be my secondary ring. But until then, um, that's about it. <clears throat> Let's see, portal. I know I didn't make. Uh, I lost like three hundred gold doing that instead of just waiting till I'm done with Castle Jarag. But. I don't care. Oh goody. Gonna be riddles. Better by a strange hand. Written in the strange but delicate hand, this note was found alongside a key in the foyer of Castle Dereg. It appears to be a riddle of some sort and reads as follows. Three paths of justice. Wary must be the judge and straight his course, for his one hand is burnt by fire of treachery and his other chilled by the ghosts of revenge. The true path of justice lies with the heart and the head for only th with reason, with the heart and head, for only with reason can he determine the truth and only with compassion can he know its consequences. Okay. Oh, I think I get it. So if I go one direction, I'm gonna meet a lot of fiery death. Hmm. Another way I'm gonna meet a lot of cold death. Save often. Hey, that's a lovely. Tr what? Oh, those are fire elementals. That's kind of bad. Okay, never mind. They're effortless. Never mind. I think they're gonna end up doing no damage to me on top of this because. Um, of that ring. Ooh, the red slot on the other hand. That's going to be a problem. Because red slots can... Or, slots can just summon slots. So, yeah. Did not see the slot when I had entered this chamber. 
really hope that my speakers aren't catching here. God okay, okay. damn it. I especially oh, had done. closed out my Facebook, and then I remember that it's also on my phone. Oh well. Okay. No, no real problem so far. Just a couple of fire elementals. Red slot. If I remember correctly, too. Um. Oh God damn it! Poisoned again. Diseased rather. If I remember correctly, slot. Pretty much are able to summon up one another and the more power like I think they can summon up beyond their own kind of slot. So red can summon red and whatnot. Uh but otherwise I don't know, not that bad. I say as this one keeps on getting I'm here right in the face. Okay, this one's a huge one. Very difficult, but we can do it. Look at that. He did. Uh, Tommy, if you would kindly, thank you. Another letter of a strange hand. The note was found in the west passage of Castle Jarag's main floor. It chastises you in a graceful skull. Just as a candle's flame is thrust into darkness, tis the destiny of a judge to be surrounded by deceit. But even as a forgotten candle gutters and goes out, so too shall the judgment of anyone who lingers there. Remember that lesson when it comes time to judge. Uh, okay. I saw a possible loot over here, though. So. Loot. Loot. And loot. I'm doubting that I could possibly rest away my disease. I forget the exact method of which that one gets rid of it. Actually. Curiosity. Ability damage resisted. I think that make it so as it's completely immune to even the damage resistance while I'm diseased. Ah, oh, there we go. I know what you're thinking. Why even bother going the cold route if the uh, fire route is already done? Because experience points. I'm presuming, of course, that the experience points can be gotten. Uh, no oh! Oh, did they make it so as I only choose which direction to go? Okay. Well, in which case, the flames kind of make sense for Darius. Anger, judgment, all that fun stuff. At least that's my interpretation of it. Right? True path of justice lies with a heart in the head for only reason can it turn. Fire of, oh. Fire of treachery. Strange analogy if you ask me, but alright. Never really known fire to be treacherous unless one doesn't watch it. Oh, hi. You look... Straight up like Shiva from Final Fantasy 7. 8. Uh, kind of a mix of the two, actually. Greetings, Judge, and welcome to the Castle Jareg. I hope you have learned your lessons well. Did you write the notes in those chests? Not I, my child. The notes you speak of were placed there long ago by Lathander, god of the dawn, in anticipation of your coming. Long ago did the crime take place, and so great were its consequences that Lathander himself felt unfit to stand in judgment over those accursed. Alright. It was a mortal crime, requiring a mortal as its judge. 
uh, was that this castle and this village were placed beyond the weave of time awaiting your arrival. The accused are confirmed confined in their towers beyond the north door. They are known as the B Brothers Jerig. Carlot is in the west tower and Quentin the east. You must learn from them the nature of the crime and from them obtain their written oath. When both oaths are in my hands, I shall hear your judgment. Here now, this key... Oh yeah. Here now, this key shall open the north door, revealing stairs to the two towers. Your wisdom, judge, and compassion for us all. I have a few questions. But ask them and I shall answer as Lythander gives me leave. Prince one of the accused, did I see him earlier? Before the dark befell the castle, Quint Jarig was Lysander's cleric. When the morning lord sealed the towers, he allowed Quint to project an image of himself into the town below. Perhaps seeing the ghosts of the village was meant to be a special punish punishment for Quint, or perhaps balm to soothe his wounded soul. Lysander either loves or hates his fallen cleric. Either way, the morning lord knew he would too great. He held too great a bias to stand in judgment over Quint's soul. Okay. What is this crime over... Oh, she's probably going to tell me that I just got to go talk to them. By Lathander's will, I cannot say. In telling you of the horror, I might sway your judgment. No, you must learn of it from the brothers themselves. Will you accept any judgment? Any at all? How many judgments can there be? There is guilt and there is innocence and consequences for them both. What if I choose to kill the brothers? You do not have the power in this place. The castle has slipped through the weave of time. In the same moment that they die, they are reborn. Only I have the power to bring this place back into the weave, and it is a power I cannot use until the judge provides his judgment. Alright, enough questions. And do you accept the role of judge in the tasks of this of judgment? Sure. And go into the night, dear judge, and find the dawn we have awaited for so long. Yeah, this judge must really or this uh guardian must really hate being here at this point, I wonder. And I can't go into this one, can I? Watch the correct answer, quote unquote, be the middle path. You take the blue pill. You stay in with, uh, however the hell that quote goes. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, Carlot. Wait, is this his chambers or is this? Oh, eight hey, more slots. So I'm kind of picking up. That maybe Carlot was had done something treacherous, deceitful towards his brother. I'm only getting this because it's called the Fires of Treachery, which I still don't quite get, but whatever. Don't mind me, just being stunned. Thank you. Am I getting much experience? No, I'm not getting much experience for the slot. Which is just a little funky on my account, but eh. I do have to question, though. Okay, the Morning Lord, Lathander. He is a good deity. So I don't exactly know. Oh, okay, fire elementals, whatever. It's the red slot that make me go, um? I don't know. I, I think they were mostly just trying to think of places that they could put put their um, D and D monsters because uh, there are a plenty full amount of them. Also, I'm dying. Ah, then I got diseased. As per the usual. Excuse me while I just chug down every potion that I have. Oh, 
Somehow don't stun me again. I was about to say, that better not be like a freaking... Oh god, I'm gonna die here. There's a lot of freaking slot. Wait, where was this autosave? Just as I was getting into here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Well, this can only mean Park skin, full strength, endurance. I've already got fire resistance, so that's kind of a whatever. Really, if anything, I should also drink down the owl's wisdom to increase my will saves. Stop forcing us to be diseased. Ah, damn slot. It really is the slot that I gotta worry about the most. They 100% put the slot in here simply to confuse us with the judgments. Because it's gonna be one of those things. We're gonna get all the way down here, gonna get all the information, then suddenly it's all like, oh hey. What did you say again? Alright, go for the main slot first. Because that will destroy the red slot that was summoned up. And then after that, all the methods, all the fire elementals, all the things that require the dying. Fire elemental. God damn it. I have seen that slot, I've been all like, nope, screw that. Right to the slot. Again, one of the things that makes me really consider the idea of going freaking like druid or something is just the ability to use you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy's dead, too. Alright. Ignore fire elementals. They do next to no damage to me. I said ignore the fire elementals. Oh, there's three heck... Just three regular slogs out here. Not even counting... Oh, God damn it. <clears throat> Got stunned again. And that's a huge fire elemental. Alright. Where is my potion? I was literally pulling up my arm to take a drink. That's fine. This is fine. All right. If I just chill out, chill out back here, I can reduce the amount of things that are trying to light us on fire. Just slowly pull foe after foe. Don't stun, don't stun, don't stun. Thank you. Um? Where'd this slot come from? Okay. 
Kill a slot, receive exp How much experience am I getting now that dude's dead? Not much. And one more really quick drink. I do take attacks of opportunities whenever a dude goes, whenever I go to take a drink, but man. I'd rather take those attacks of opportunities than uh, die. Alright, critical hit. Another drink. Don't you dare be stunned. Ugh. Damn it! <sighs> Fine. I'm thinking of other things I can do. Kind of ridiculous. There's a few things that I can really do to improve my chances being but a simple barbarian and whatnot. Wait, why was I pointed the other direction? Damn it, game. I mean, all right then. Oh, that's a huge fire elemental. That's why it was actually doing shit to me. Okay. Focus on the reds. Damn it! Doesn't like having any and all player agency taken away from you with stun. I'm not mad, you're mad. Water it. Yeah, resist that ability damage. Quite safe to yourself, too. Well, why don't you just slow down, Dar? Take them one at a time. Because eventually they do. I'm reloading. Wait a tick. There was a door open there. This is where I came from. And this is where I'm going. Drink potion. Run like mad. Naval power attack. Continue running like mad. They already summon. I think he already summoned his. Dude. Oh, they were bashing through the thing. Alright. Bashing through the thing. Pissing me really bad. Ah! Because this is reasonable. Starting to think I shouldn't have came here first. Oh. Hold the phone. Okay. Just hellhounds. I suppose I'd be more worried about hellhounds if, you know, I wasn't literally one-shotting them. Push up less. God damn it, now I just kinda wanna get out of this goddamn place, but I'm already here. Bullets, alright. 
Alright. I want to say... Nope. Licking things out of frustration. Oh, hey. Uh, if I take a quick rest after dealing with these guys, I'm gonna lose all my bonuses. I don't need slad tongues. Hell, I barely need the coin that's out of the... I can think of about it's the fire elementals. And of course. You know, sometimes I would like what's written on the tin to actually work for me. What's that? Are you serious, Tommy? That's what you were doing this entire time? You idiot. Well, at least he undid a freaking trap for me, I guess. Ironwood? Finberry? Fire dust? Excuse you? I'm sure this is helpful somehow. Yeah, rest. I'm only a little bit agitated. It was so Seriously, dude's gonna freaking owe me so much money. I say that, but I also came up here for healing anyhow, so. Okay, okay. All right, I am going to be right next to the slot when I come out that door there. Ah, oh, oh, yes, a whole Ale Alexandrite. Mascarin Tome of Fire. This heavy and tattered tome is labeled with a large and ancient rune that translates simply to fire. Among its most, more interesting passages is the following. The fire beetle belly is an amazing organ that manages to retain its full heat even after the beetle's death. When combined with the resilience of the quartz crystal and then empowered with the spell fireball, the end result is a device that can emit bursts of fire at will. Creation is the most fire-based one of the most fire-based ones is based on this simple formula. Oh. Okay. So I think... Uh, I remember reading a little bit on the side quest of that, but that is one of the books that What's Her Face is going to ask of me, and I'm just going to be like, yeah, sure, here, have it. I know what I'm supposed to do with it. You know, besides give it to you. Shoot, I just realized that my fire. Oh, my fire. What am I talking about? All my stuff is going away. Kill the red slot, kill the red slot, kill them dead. Now kill them fast. Excellent. Okay. I'm about to toss myself into combat once again. So, heck it. I'll see what I, if I really need this potion of speed. Huh. Where's the other one? Oh, there they are. That they are inside there. How are you guys doing so much damage to me? Tommy, where the hell have you been? I saw you invisible over here and then you disappeared and appeared behind me? I'm gonna die. Oh. I'm officially not sure how I'm supposed to do this besides just drinking down a 
bottle of haste and <sighs> letting loose. All right, potion of speed. Oh, I forgot to sell those arrows of the vampire. Do I have nothing else that could help me help? Actually... Nothing walks away. I just want to see really quick whether or not they are... ...chaotically aligned. If they're chaotically aligned, then I stand more of a chance with this... ...on. Oh, just kill the fire element already. Okay. Where's the other red slot? I'm gonna go through all of this. And then I'm gonna have a bad time, mostly involved, of having to go through and deal with cold variations of these guys once I go to the other side, huh? I mean, attack the. You know what? Whatever. They're dead. That's all I care about. Okay, you're here. Give me a tick. I'm gonna loot the ever-loving crap out of this place before I even think about talking to you, sir. Incredible. Like seriously, the amount of resources this place has taken out of me. I demand compensation. Hell's no Lathander ain't gonna give it to me. Or maybe he is, I don't know. I know very little about some of the other deities of D&D. I know that there's a common... Controversy? Is that what you would call it? A common thought, apparently, that Paylor is actually secretly evil. Uh, it's done. Because, you know, okay, okay. a god that is claimed as good has never done anything evil in their entire existence. Uh, but that would be getting real. Oh, hello. Alright, just regular fire elementals. I thought there were huge ones for a second. I was like, mm. We'll play with this once we kill everything. There's so much random crap around here. Killing all the fire elementals. Killing all the fire elementals. Still don't know why the slot are what they are here. That is a hell of a freaking swing to kill a slot in one hit. Ooh, tingle. Tell me if you will. Ah, yeah, it's amazing how much more manageable a lot of the monsters are when you're not, you know, forced to fight like 15 of them at once. Okay, okay. And then they summon other very other somewhat weaker variations of themselves. I don't know. Spell castery stuff. Oh, journal, eh? I have to read that after I clear out this place as well. I got a lot of stuff to do just after okay, clearing okay. out this place. Just saying. Oh, it's done. Don't know why I had to quick save right there. But you know what? Twas a boon. Another fire elemental dead? Alright. 
Ah, yes. I, I think it's gonna get to a point where I just sell my potions of cure light wounds. I can sell that book. Because unless I get to the point where it's like all my other potions are used. Wait, Rakasha's? Oh, Rakasha's eyeball, yeah. Drawers. Burning hands. Ale. Protection wand. One used to cast protections on Karlat when he was summoning fiends. Oh. Suddenly the fact that he was uh, surrounded by red slot makes a lot more sense. Anyone attempting to summon a fiend without protection will quickly have the beast at their throat. Wands cannot be equipped to any of her spell slots, blah blah blah, yada yada. Alright. Um... Yeah, let's clear out that other side first, and then we'll have a little poke around at all of Kalat's stuff. Mm, poking. Yeah, using the cloak of, you know, I dislike chaos really works against the slot because the slots are pretty much agents of chaos. I have no more of all those things. Excellent. The buffs, I mean. I, bleh, I don't know why I can't word right now. All right. Feel from the barrel. Potion of lore. Neat. Can you do it? Ooh. Morning Star plus one. Depending on how much damage that does, that actually might be better than my using the um who's a Medusa that I already have. The Morning Star. Sorry, the Warhammer. Alright, there's one more room here and then I'm gonna poke things. One room room. Right here. Oh, it's done. Okay, okay. Wherever it just gets to a point where the game designers were like, okay, let's let's reduce the amount of times that we have um, characters say stuff. That gives them their attitude, okay, okay. their personality. Open the door. Done. Oh, fire beetles. Okay. Uh, sure. Fire beetles. Those were a thing. Oh my god, I swear if I run out of inventory space because of the freaking... My god. I'm probably gonna run out of inventory space because... Just because of all those freaking gargoyles. Alright, I'm only going to take those two. I think the rest of the stuff that I have is a little... Ooh. Can't rest while enemies are nearby. Does this chest count as an enemy? The last burning wong, castle jarry, Karlat's key. Seriously, what enemies are we talking about here? Oh, that one. That makes sense. You had one job, buddy. One job. Survive until we could rest. All right, was it? Yeah, it was up here that I think might be. Well, there's this room, and then there's the other room that's directly up north, south, whichever. 
By the dim light of the candelabra, you can decipher the book's ragged text. My research into the summoning of the demon Belial, Lord of Flame, continues. It is rugged work, and my robes are a little more than ashen rags as a result. I must persevere, however, for only Belial knows of the phylactery I seek, a vessel that only the gods have power to destroy. Yes, Belial is the Lord of Flame, so aside from the customary casting of protection from evil, it shall also take fire to summon him. I shall... I am sure that the belly of the fire beetle is the proper reagent, but what spell? I've cast every high level fire spell there is upon that brazier to no effect. I've tried even those mid-level and there is nothing. There is but one fire spell left of all those known, but it can't be it. I haven't cast it since I was a mischievous child. Still, I must try. Yeah, sometimes when it comes to spellcasting, you don't need anything big and flashy, guy. You just need it to, I don't know, be a thing. Why am I resting? I've already got practically full hit points. Uh. So, Belial. <clears throat> One of the demon lords? Demon or devil? Pretty sure he is devil. Virtual brazier. Okay, so I need to put. I. Why am I doing this? Okay. So I cast the protection one on me. Where's the? Bond of don't get screwed over by demons. Yeah, protection from alignment. Use. Alright. Then cast burning hands on the ritual part. Where's your. This is feeling like a terrible idea. Speak quickly, gnome fool. Your magic protections will not last long in this place. What do you require of the Fire Lord? Uh, okay. I just summoned the Lord of Fire. Great. Uh, give me an item of the greatest power. I was commanded so once, bef once before by the mortal Karlat Jarag. I told him to, to, uh, to him I gave a phylactery where his soul could rest safe from mortal threat. I had my reasons for giving it to him then. For you I see no such advantage. Choose again and more wisely. Uh, magic item. Your heart is not strong enough to command me so. Ask something else for that I you shall not receive. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Come on. Come on. Please. Carry on top. Come on. Is my const... Uh, fine, I come as judge and demand only answers. You, Flushing? You are the judge? Then my charade is over for you. Become... Or you command me as none other have before. Then tell me the tale of the brothers to rock. Let the brothers tell their own tales, judge. I am here to tell my own. You see, it was I who first planted the seed of slaughter in Karlat's mind. It was but a weapon, and it was at my hand that controlled him. Quint was a weapon of a weapon, a servant slave. It was he who brought the child in, and Karlat who cast the spell that killed him. It was I alone who stayed silent in the knowledge that the slaughter held no meaning. Karlat's ritual did not require it, but I chose to tell him otherwise. So why did you do this? Thus is the natures of demons, Judge. Why is there needless suffering in the world? Why is there injustice and strife and tyranny? It's because of us. And why are you telling me this so openly? For one, my thunder has bound all within this castle to heed the Judge's will. Oh, that is hilarious. For another, how do you intend to punish a demon? The abyss is home to me, and I, and I long to walk once more upon the Sea of Flame. And it was you behind the slaughter. I am Belial, Prince of Demons, Lord of Fire, Scourge of the Abyssal Deaths. 
Were you ever fool enough to expect another? Will you give this as your written oath? If it means an end to an, my accursed bondage in this place, then I will gladly give it. Here, take it and make it of what you will. The bargain has been fulfilled. Perhaps the next time, I'll summon you. Yeah, a while. So, I have a written thing. Written oath of the demon Belial that said that... He... Okay. So, Quint brought the child, but it was Darag that had... Darag? What's his name? I forget. That had actually slain the kid in the name of the... Demon Lord Belial. But Belial lied to the dude and was like, Haha, I didn't actually need a sacrifice. It's just funny. Because demons. You know, there's a lot of, um... What alignment this race would be and all that fun stuff when it comes to D&D &D and whatnot. Demons being demons? Thus being evil? Yeah, that's not necessarily something you change. I mean, unless there's some sort of immensely powerful power behind going, hey, nah, that demon be good. Just saying. Um, what am I doing? I think I'm trying to get out of here now. I mean, oh, shite. Come on. Uh, did I quick save? Frack. <sighs> I meant to quick save so that if uh, this battle goes awry, which, considering the situation, is a possibility. Right, focus on the actual slot. Ooh. Few things feel better than landing two critical hits. There we go. Don't know where those guys came from. I'm pretty sure I had came down this way in the first place. So unless the game was all just all like, oh, lol, look at this. More slot. Huh. Yeah, okay. No, that still makes it so as the red slot are confusing, too. I... This is all the cosmology and the freaking inner workings of freaking the D&D &D universe in my head, because there's Limbo and Pandemonium where the slot are, but that's like a different plane of existence from the Abyss where Belial exists. So, unless Belial happens to have a bunch of slot, too... Whatever. Oh. Yeah, when he said phylactery, I kind of assumed that there's some sort of lichness going on, but um I was hoping it wasn't gonna be. Judge, Judge, is that you? I don't remember. It's so hard to string my thoughts together one to the next. So you are Carlot Jarag? Yes, yes, that is my name been so long since I've heard someone speak it. The last one to do so was my, my brother. Quit! Yes, it was him. He was responsible. He invited all the children of the village to his tower and began to read to them. It was horrible. The blood. It was everywhere. Every one of them died. Every child. He's gone mad, you know. My younger brother has gone mad. I arrived there too late. I rebuked him and he groveled there before me. Said he did it for all for me. All for the love of an elder brother. I unleashed the fire against him, but he fled and stole my most powerful artifact, my phylactery, and made use of it. Now we are all stuck here because of him, pressed like flowers between the pages of the Book of Time. I still have some questions. I have the time, Judge, if not always the memory. Ask what you will. Why would Quint do such a thing? He was young and foolish, with no understanding of the arcane arts, no understanding of the world in which he, we wizards operate. We can sort with demons and keep imps as our familiars, but does that make them evil? No. 
But wishing to become a lich, I mean, that's... That's... That's using the line between good and evil as a freaking... Jump rope. Perhaps he'd perform the unspeakable act in an effort to earn my respect, my affection. Perhaps we wanted to, he wanted to prove himself before his brother. So who has the flactory right now? Athander gave it to the Guardian for safekeeping, and she has kept it ever since. If only I can recover it, I can finish the ceremony and begin what I was meant to be. It would free us all from this accursed place. What about Lythander and the Guardian? What good is a god of the dawn if he traps us in the eternal night? My brother prayed to him before the madness came on. The Guardian may claim Lythander did not stand in judgment, yet Quint wanders the village freely while I rot in here forever in this wretched form. Alright, enough questions. Ooh, I didn't read his journal yet. Hold up. Journal, journal, gonna read your journal. Part of me feels guilty for having tricked my brother into such a crime, but it was necessary. I'm growing old and my research is not done. These northern wastes are brutal land, but so full of magic. If only I could be undying, then my studies could go on unhindered by this call of mortal flesh. I can hear Quinn's voice cutting through the walls as he reads to the children in the library. I can hear their laughter. Belial says that they must die tonight. All of them. All the children in Tarwood. It is a grim task, but a, for a greater good, I swear to it. There must be blood tonight if I am to bind my soul to that phylactery. Someone just lied to me. This your journal? Why, yes. Yes, the hand is mine. What does it say? I have half forgotten. Ooh. Take your brother into the crime. I, I needed the blood. It was necessary. Without it, how can I protect the village? It was a high price, but it would have meant a bright future. To protect the village, you needed the blood of the innocent children of the village. This is some sort of mental backflipping that he's trying to do here. You sought on death out of a greed for knowledge. Is a greed for knowledge any different than a greed for love? Agreed for justice? Before you judge me, judge yourself. Dude, I'm not the one at judgment here. Oh, God. You acted on the advice of someone named Belial. Belial? I know that name. Yes, he was a demon I consorted with. He was the one who gave me the phylactery and taught me to use it. Why, the summoning room is just down the hall. Maybe he would know the thing truth of things. Well, that's all it said. Did you give that as a... Uh, written oath. I've suffered here too long, tormented by forgetfulness amidst this endless pail of smoke. I'd only be too glad. Here, take it. My written oath of every word that I have uttered here. Present it to the Guardian and let us have our judgment. I got a feeling I still have to go over to Quint's side of the thing. Which has me kind of going, ugh. Did I already loot this chamber? Ooh. Ring of invisibility. Three times a day can use visibility. Though there are numerous examples of such rings, this one may have come from a set once owned by a master thief. Hold on for a second there, buddy. That worked water Davian crowds in broad daylight, replacing purses with bags of sand. Once thought retired, it is now suspected that the so-called sand thief was eventually killed for not joining a local thieves guild and that his rings were seized by a group and that abused his methods liberally. Huh. Few times. Nothing few times do you get such me. lore from such little trinkets. Honestly, that's something I've really been wanting to do more often when it comes to uh, handing out magical items, is if they do cast the Identify spell, because that's pretty much how you learn how certain things work without, you know, power attack. Power attack might have been a bad idea. Nope, we're good. Because otherwise you just know, oh, it's a ring of invisibility, or oh, it's a battle axe plus one. Nowhere in that history does it go, oh, this was owned by the 
Master Thief Zargothrax or something like that. And yes, that was a Glory Hammer reference. Okay. I mean, so I know the verdict, but then again, the Bel <sighs> Belial is the Demon Lord, Lord of Flames, and the Lord of Lies, if I re No, wait. Am I thinking Beelzebub? I might be thinking Beelzebub. Or Mammon. There's a lot of demon lords, and not not all of them are good. Well, none of them are good, but that's besides the point. But Um. See, I'm just trying to rest really quickly here. Don't tell me that the Guardian counts as a freaking... Eh, whatever. In any case, though, I'm going to go ahead and save... And we shall call an episode here. When we return, we are going to climb up. Well, I say climb up, but we're going to go. T well, I'm going to revive Tommy. First and foremost. But then I'm also going to go into Quint's chambers and see what the hell he has to say. Which, if I were to imagine, is going to be some sort of combination of mad ravings and what he thinks is going to be the truth in that he had led the children to the slaughter without knowing about the whole demon lord thing eh. in any case thank you everyone so very much for watching i hope you guys are enjoying this adventure as much as i'm enjoying playing it and as always i hope to see you guys in the next video take care cheers